Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead, y'all. Today we have a story to tell you about what happens when one person gives. And stay tuned till the end, because we're going to be showing you guys an impossible project. Okay guys, I got all my chores done, and I did a little bit of my schooling, so now I'm going to take a break and tell you guys a story. For those of you who don't know, we are a family of nine and have been vlogging for four years now on YouTube. So we don't make a whole lot of money making YouTube videos, but it's a way we can bless others. So recently our parents' computer broke down. That's our editing computer. So we told you guys we probably wouldn't be able to be making videos for a little while. Because we didn't have the money to fix it or replace it right away. So all my dad did was let you know that we weren't going to be able to make videos for a little while. And here's what happened. First, somebody asked if our dad could put a computer on our Amazon wish list. So we did. Then, somebody set up a GoFundMe for us to help us raise money. Meanwhile, our dad took our computer to a PC shop to see if it could be fixed. And now, just a couple of weeks later, here's all that we were blessed with. So, an, an awesome person bought that computer off the wish list, and we ended up giving it to Caleb, because Caleb's computer was not very good, and it was really slow, and he likes to use lots of programs and stuff, so it just wasn't working very well for him. So, now he's got a new computer, and he's working on setting that up. Also, I was able to get a whole new laptop for editing, so I can maybe in the future possibly post more videos. We'll see. And we just got the video editing program on that laptop, so I don't have to use my parents' computer anymore. <laughs> By the way, my parents were not only able to just pay for their computer to get fixed, but also upgrade it. Next, Nathan's getting Caleb's old computer, and Caleb's going to fix that up for him so it runs a little faster, so he can learn more about construction, because he wants to build things for people. And finally, Esther's going to get me and Nathan's old computer to watch her cooking videos and learn more about gardening. She's so excited. So you can see how just one act of kindness creates a chain reaction. So thank you all for contributing to thousands of roots. You guys are awesome. You know what this kind of looks like? A tree with thousands of roots. It's not my finest tree. You get the idea. While I was telling that story, look at what Jay was doing. I'm building a play little cave. Cool. This is our future garden soil. Okay, here's our Mission Impossible. We're trying to get this fig tree out, because although it grows like crazy, it just hasn't produced for us. So we're trying to get it out, but it's got so many little roots that you just can't pull it out. So we're waiting on a tractor to yank it out with that chain there, I believe at least. So we'll show you that once the tractor gets here. Here's the tractor. So I'm going to ride with my dad in the tractor here because we need to get rid of the stuff before we pull out the fig tree. In case you all are wondering, this is not actually our tractor. Some nice people let us borrow it though for a few days. So this is its first job on the homestead. We're gonna use these two chains to attach to the tree here to pull it out.
Now we got a crater to fill in. Man! So what's the plan with this fig, Esther Pie? We're gonna try and find a new home where it can be fruitful for us. Yeah, here in Missouri, fig trees come back from the root each year, huh? Yep. And they don't quite have enough time to mature if you don't kind of confine those roots. The shallow roots just go crazy and they produce a lot of growth, but not a lot of fruit. So by the time any fruit does come, doesn't mature and then that's no fun huh yep. <laughs> so we're gonna try and confine confine those roots in some kind of container not sure what yet and then maybe this will be a happy fruitful fig tree <laughs> yep hopefully okay guys back to our story about giving that Josh was telling you guys earlier you don't have to have money to give you can give something as simple as a smile <laughs> and that smile can can start a chain reaction. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the homestead today. We pray blessings over you and yours, and whatever you do, do it with your whole heart.